We all love wonton, but can you handle the Sichuan version? Check out this bowl of wonton in chili oil. We added freshly ground Sichuan peppercorn powder, which gives you a tingling feeling. Weird, but addictive. Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy, and I'll be showing you how to make this bold tasting Sichuan wonton soup. First, let's shred a zucchini. Use the largest hole on your grater. I bet a lot of you have never tried zucchini in the wonton filling. You'll be surprised by the texture that it brings in. So soft and juicy. I didn't cut off the stem, which makes it a lot safer to grate all the way until the end. Season with half teaspoon of salt. Rub for a minute. Let it sit for 10 minutes to allow the salt to draw out some moisture. Squeeze out most of the liquid and discard that. Set the zucchini aside. We will prepare the rest of the ingredients for the filling. You will need 12 ounces of ground chicken, one and a half teaspoon of grated ginger, one and a half teaspoon of grated garlic, one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, and some black pepper to taste. Stir the filling within one direction for three to five minutes, or until you can see some strands appearing. This will help to develop the texture of the filling. Add the zucchini, a third cup of diced scallion, and a drizzle of sesame oil, Mix well. If this is the first time you're making this recipe, you should cook a small amount in the microwave, then taste to adjust the flavor because there is no going back after you wrapped them. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's set it aside and we will wrap the wontons. I am using store bought wrapper because making it from scratch is time consuming. And you can buy a wonton wrapper easily in Walmart and Target. Just check the frozen sections in your local grocery stores. Be sure to put them out 40 minutes ahead at room temperature to defrost. There are many ways to wrap wonton, but for the specific Sichuan Chaoshou style, this is how we do it. Put some filling in the middle, dip some water with your finger and wet half of the wrapper. Fold it in half, pack it tight, be sure to push out all the air. Make a small curve in the middle so it is easier to fold. Then you glue two sides and pinch them together. There you go! There is a special name for this shape of wonton called Yuan Bao. It's a type of shoe shape gold ingot which represents wealth and treasure in Chinese culture. This recipe is enough to make 50 pieces of wonton. That will be four servings. Before we cook them, we need to make the spicy flavor base, which is what builds the reputation of this recipe. Two cloves of garlic. Press them through a garlic presser. Half teaspoon of sugar to balance the tanginess. 2 teaspoon of soy sauce, 2 teaspoon of oyster sauce, 2 teaspoon of Chinese black vinegar, some Sichuan peppercorn powder to taste. Be careful, don't use too much because Sichuan peppercorn can be overpowering and ruin your dish. This is freshly ground. I just toast some Sichuan peppercorn in a wok over low heat for a couple of minutes, then grind it in a spice grinder until fine. You can buy this from an Asian market, but I suggest you to make your own because Sichuan peppercorn is actually a citrus fruit. If you grind it and let it sit for too long, it will lose its aroma. Okay, next ingredient is the hot chili oil. Although the amount is totally up to your taste, this is the time to test your limit. This bowl here, is one serving, 
which is exactly like how they prepared it locally in Sichuan, so they can adjust the spicy level based on everybody's preference. If you have a big family and you all have similar taste buds, it's okay to make a big batch and divide it while serving. Okay, let's set this aside and uh, we are going to cook the wontons. Pour 6 to 8 cups of chicken stock into the wok. I'm using homemade chicken stock, but store bought or even water would work just as good because the flavor base is so powerful that you would not notice the difference. Bring it to a boil. Use your spoon to stir the broth to create a vortex. Then put in the wonton. This way, they will flow with the water instead of sinking to the bottom directly. Otherwise, they will stick to the bottom and lose part of their skin. Stir the wonton once in every 20 seconds to ensure an even cooking. It takes about 2 minutes for the wonton to float to the top of the water. Then monitor the heat at low and keep the pot at a slight simmer for another 5 to 6 minutes. Do not let the water boil violently. Otherwise, the wonton will start expanding and the skin will break. When it is almost ready, add some green leafy vegetables that you like. I'm using baby bok choy. Let it blanch with the wontons for 20 seconds to a minute depending on your preference. Turn off the heat. To make one serving, you just scoop out about half cup of the broth and pour it into the flavor base. Follow up with however many pieces of wonton that you want. Sprinkle some diced cilantro and the scallion on the top. Now you are ready to enjoy this mouth-watering Sichuan chao shou. The filling is tender and juicy. The chili oil is fiercely spicy, numbing, and super aromatic. I am sweaty already with just a few wontons, but it is hard to stop eating. I hope you give this a try soon. This video is sponsored by Soup Up Recipes Wok. This is the wok that I'm selling and I am proud to recommend it to you as I have been using it on my channel for years. It is lightweight and it responds to heat changes quickly and evenly. It can also sustain super high temperature without damage. If you like Chinese food and you want to cook it at home better than takeout, you definitely need a wok as it is the most basic cookware in Chinese cuisine. The link is in the description, go check it out. We just relaunched this wok in UK because last year we weren't able to ship to UK anymore after Brexit. Now you can buy it again. It is free shipping and custom fees included. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!